software engineers programmers coders welcome back to the channel so in this video this is a c program that prints all possible different combinations of two digits so in the previous video we did a possible combination of single digits but this one is double digits as you can see on the output you're seeing even if it's a single digit this zero precedes it so you have zero one zero two then you go to 79 89 at the end so without further ado let's just get into it so we've got the header inclusion so include sda stdio.h at this point you have just have to know this has just come out second nature so includes so stdio.h includes the standard input output library for functions like put car to print print characters so that's the first thing that you need to do when you're starting uh, when you're coding anything in c then in this function I'm just going to use um one function which is the main function so i've mentioned this in previous videos not a complex program but we're just going to operate in the main function later on we'll branch out from the main functions and just call uh, functions that you've created differently and separately in the main function so so int main void defines the program's entry point then in the variable declaration we have uh, digit one and digit two which are of type int and in the outer loop we have uh, four digit one is equals to zero then digit one is less than nine digit one plus plus so this one iterates through digit zero to eight starts starts with uh, digit one as zero as zero continues as long as digit one is less than nine increments digit one by one in each iteration then in the inner loop we have the four digit two is equals to digit one plus one then digit two less than ten then digit two plus plus so this line this uh, inner loop iterates through digits through digits starting from the next digit after digit one up to nine so ensures different pairs of digits are generated then in the print digits we're going to use put car in this case as you can see we used sdr.h so put car we're going to use it instead of using printf then in the put car you have put car into bracket then digit one modulo 10 plus zero and put car digit two modulo 10 plus zero so prints the current player of digits as characters so modulo 10 extracts the single digits from the integer values so that's one thing that is actually quite uh, important then plus then then the plus zero in 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 quotations converts the digit to their corresponding ascii characters so that's what you need to do when it comes to printing the digits so we have to make sure that uh, in any combination if it's a single digit like one you have zero one zero two zero three as you can see on the output on the right then conditional handling for the last pair so if digit one is equals to eight which is equal to eight and digit two is equal to nine continue it skips the comma and space of the last pair 99 to avoid a trailing comma then comma and space put car then with a comma and put car with a space there prints a comma and a space after each pair except for the last one then return the new line put car n prints a new line character then return zero indicates uh, return zero to indicate the successful execution so the code will appear like this so you have zero one zero two zero three then we'll have um like that they're all supposed to be like two numbers like the output you can see on the screen so this one prints all possible pairs of digits from 00 to 99 excluding 99 itself uh, itself uh, separated by commas and spaces so this is a this is a fairly um uh it was a bit challenging thinking about how to like uh, put this algorithm like this and my god it was <laughs> it was actually quite challenging but anyway with my um, with my uh, commentary on it, it will assist you in like being able 
be able to understand what is uh, going on in there so if you guys like the video make sure you leave your feedback down in the comments on what you think and um, I'm out happy coding